My name is Steve Gullius. I have the wonderful honor of being principal at Bishop McDonnell High School. Thank you all for joining us tonight at this, the 2024 commencement paraliturgy as we honor the 159th graduating class of Bishop McDonnell Catholic High School, the 20th graduating class from our home in the South End. Tonight we also celebrate our eighth class of International Baccalaureate uh, Diploma Program graduates. Welcome to you all. I'd like to begin the evening by calling upon Father Ian Duffy, the pastor of this beautiful sacred space, to offer greetings. Your Excellency Bishop Bob Singer, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, it's my great honor and indeed a real privilege and a pleasure to welcome all of you here this evening to the Basilica of Our Lady Immaculate, a church which has seen many of your predecessors go before you up this aisle on their graduation day. Now you uh, become part of a very long and distinguished tradition. Congratulations to you all and welcome to the Basilica for your graduation ceremony. Good evening. My name is Sophia Johnston Hallahan, and I am extremely grateful for this opportunity to welcome you all to witness this major milestone. Firstly, I would like to warmly welcome Bishop Wayne Lobsinger, Father Ian Duffy, our Director, Mr. Michael Glazier, Superintendent of Student Achievement, Mary Lynn Dawson, Associate Director, Corporate Services and Treasurer, Tracy McLennan, Cassandra O'Donnell, Trustee, our principal, Mr. Stephen Gullius, and vice principal, Mr. Brian Holford. I would like to thank our families, friends, and Bishop Mack faculty for being in attendance today. You have all supported us through thick and thin, and I believe that I can say on behalf of the 2024 graduating class that you have all had a profound impact on our lives, watching us all grow and pushing us to our fullest potential, allowing us to be where we are today. We thank you for your efforts as you helped us get through these past 12 years. Class of 2024, do you remember when we came to Bishop Mack with our elementary schools and saw how huge the school was compared to our feeder schools? How nervous we were to find our classes in fear of getting lost? Do you remember when we all received class of 2024 t-shirts? 2024, it seemed like a lifetime away. We were always told that these four years will fly by yet I'm sure none of us believed it. Throughout my four years at Bishop Mack, I have learned that knowledge doesn't just come from textbooks. School has also helped us build priceless social skills, taught us the importance of getting involved, taught us the value of succeeding, and the lessons learned from failing. It has reminded us that if something seems so difficult, having a growth mindset is the difference maker. Today is a day that we will remember for many years to come. We will remember the excitement, the anticipation, and the extreme sense of accomplishment. It is a day in which we recognize the dedication, determination, hard work, and perseverance that each and every one of us have put towards our education. It is a day that reminds us that we are fully capable of doing anything we put our minds to. It is a ceremony to help us recognize the limitless potential we hold and the boundless opportunities that lie ahead of us. Graduates, as we reflect on our journey and on the journey ahead of us, no matter where our path may take us, no matter how far away we go, we will always have one thing in common. Our blood will always bleed Celtic blue. Congratulations, class of 2024. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Father Ian Duffy, Auxiliary Bishop Lob Singer, faculty, proud parents, and most importantly, graduates of Bishop Mack, good evening. My name is Cassandra O'Donnell, trustee on the Wellington Catholic District School Board. It is an honor and a privilege to stand before you today as we celebrate this significant milestone in your lives. Today marks the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and growth 
It is a day to reflect on your achievements and to look forward with hope and excitement to the future. As a school board trustee and fellow graduate from Wellington Catholic, I am so pleased to witness this incredible achievement in your educational journey. Your academic accomplishments, your involvement in extracurricular activities, and your commitment to your community have all contributed to making BM a beacon of excellence in Guelph. Graduation is not just an end, it is also a beginning. It is a time to celebrate your past accomplishments and to embrace the endless possibilities that lie ahead. As you embark on this new chapter, I encourage you to carry with you the values that have been instilled in you during your time here, your values rooted in our Catholic faith. Our faith teaches us about the importance of compassion, integrity, and service to others. It reminds us that we are called to be the hands and feet of Christ in the world, to act with kindness, and to stand up for what is right. As you move forward, let these values guide your decisions and shape your actions. One of the most important lessons I hope you take away from your time at Bishop Mack is the value of relationships. The connections you have made with your teachers, your friends, and your community have been instrumental in shaping who you are today. These relationships will continue to support and sustain you in the years to come. As you reflect on your journey, remember the words of an old saying, the joy of the journey is best measured by the friends, not the miles. The friendships you have formed here are priceless. They have provided you with support, laughter, and love. They have been with you through challenges and triumphs alike. Cherish these, these relationships, for they are a true measure of your success and happiness. As you stand on the threshold of a new beginning, remember that you are not alone. You are part of a community that cares deeply about you, your family, your friends, your teachers, and your faith are all here to support you as you navigate the path ahead. In closing, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. You have achieved something remarkable, and you should be incredibly proud of yourselves. As you go forth into the world, carry with you the lessons you have learned, the values you hold dear, and the friendships you have ha that have enriched your life. May God bless you and keep you always. Congratulations, Class of 2024. Good evening, Your Excellency, Bishop Lobsinger, Reverend Father Duffy, staff and administration from Bishop McDonnell Secondary School, parents and guests in our graduating class. My name is Mike Lazier. I'm the Director of Education for the Wellington Catholic District School Board, and it's an honour to be here to bring greetings on behalf of senior administration to, and to recognize this important milestone for all of our graduates tonight. Tonight's graduation is a celebration of your hard work, your dedication, and the personal growth that you've experienced over the years. This graduating class has had a very unique secondary school experience. Many of you entered secondary school in the fall of 2020 or before, and as such, you spent the first two years learning through a global pandemic and the remainder of your secondary education watching as schools and the world around you re return to a sense of normalcy. It'll be a story that each of you will probably remember for the rest of your lives, and it will be something that you will tell your children and grandchildren about. I admire the way that each one of you have navigated these challenges and did your very best despite the obstacles that you faced. I want to share a, a short personal story with you. Um, I too had a unique secondary school experience, and it didn't involve a global pandemic, but it did involve a force of nature, uh, namely my mother. My mom left school when she was 17 years old, and she started her family and entered the workforce. After working many years at a grocery store, she decided to go back to, back to school at the age of 37 when the store closed. As there was no adult education programs or continuing education programs where I grew up, she enrolled in high school with me and my younger brother. She wanted to finish the credits that she needed, and she wanted to see that she, make sure that she could do it. Things were a little bit different then. 
My mom had her locker two down from mine, and uh, my girlfriend became her French partner. You can imagine the disappointment when my girlfriend would come over to my house only to want to spend time with my mother and study. Now, for many of you, having your mom attend school with you may be the most embarrassing thing in the world. But for me, I loved my mother, and I was extremely proud of her. She was a model of faith, determination, perseverance, and she showed me the importance of never giving up on your goals. She graduated a year ahead of me and pursued her path through education, through university and teacher's college, and eventually became an elementary school French teacher in a Catholic board. She's the main reason I became a Catholic educator. You should never underestimate the power that you have to inspire others around you through small or large acts of courage and hard work. My mom knew that to achieve your goals, the road's not always easy, but hard work, a positive attitude, and a good education will carry you far. There'll be lots of curves in the road, lots of things, that, obstacles you're going to face, but if you set your mind to it, you can do it. When one door opens, when one door closes, another one opens, and you just have to step forward to see where the path will take you. Tonight is a chance to celebrate you and your hard work and resilience. You've worked hard to overcome obstacles, and tonight you get to see the result of your hard work, and we are so very proud. Thank you to the staff that have, had, that have helped challenge and support you along the way. Thank you for being positive role models, offering encouragement and guidance whenever it is needed. Thank you to our parents, grandparents, and family members that are with us tonight. I know that this is a proud milestone for all of you and that you're beaming with happiness as you see the young people in front of us today. And to our graduates, you've received an education enriched by faith, a faith that empowers you to make a difference in the world. As you step into the world beyond our walls, I encourage you to use what you've learned to make the world a better place. Treat others with kindness and mercy. Learn the value of forgiveness. Use your gifts to help the marginalized and vulnerable and advocate for justice and be the change that you'd like to see in the world. Graduates, you're surrounded tonight by a church filled with people who love you and care for you and want you to do well with the rest of your life. Know that you're part of a larger Wellington Catholic community and will be forever connected to you. Through the friendships and relationships you've formed, know that you're gonna be held in, in, uh, in good company along your path. We look forward to seeing the great things that you will do. On behalf of senior administration, I offer our sincere congratulations to each of you as members of our graduating class. May your journey be filled with happiness. Best wishes to all of our graduates as you celebrate this milestone. And now I'd like to call on Bishop Lobsinger to bring our opening prayer. Thank you. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Let us pray. All glory and praise are yours, almighty God. We give you thanks for calling us to be your people, for giving us your Son as our Lord, and your Spirit to guide our lives. Be with us as we gather to celebrate your mighty deeds in our lives, Open our minds and hearts to see your guiding hand in all the future circumstances of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. A letter from Paul to the Thessalonians. But we must always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters, 
beloved by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits for salvation, through sanctification by the Spirit and through belief in the truth. For this purpose, he called you through our proclamation of the good news, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. When Father Duffy began, and when our Director of Education began, and our Principal began, and our Trustee began, they all began in a very polite way. Bishop Lobsinger, Father Duffy, brothers and dear friends, your parents, graduates. As Bishop, I don't have to do any of that. So I'll just begin by saying, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. First, I bring you greetings from Bishop Crosby, the Bishop of Hamilton. He's asked me to assure you of his prayers for you. He, he has sent me here this evening, not because he doesn't want to be here, but tomorrow is his 75th birthday. And so he's home getting ready for his big birthday party tomorrow. So please uh, keep the bishop in your prayers as he celebrates his 75th birthday and know that he has you in his prayers uh, as he remembers all of you this evening. But it's a joy for me to be here with you this evening and to be able to participate in this wonderful and amazing moment in your life, maybe the most amazing thus far. There's still lots more to come, and if this is the top and everything is downhill, I feel bad for you. But this is the top so far, and we look forward to all that's going to come. You know, graduation always brings about the end of something and the beginning of something new. Our hope, our hope, 
that what is ending your time in Catholic school, our Catholic school system, we hope that this has prepared you for what is beginning in your lives. We pray that the work of your good teachers, your coaches, administrators, parents, your family, your friends, has given you the skills that you will need for full, meaningful, and happy lives. Because that's what we want for you. We want you to have full, meaningful, and happy lives. And as graduates of our Catholic school system, I hope in particular that it has also prepared you and helped you to become good and holy men and women. Men and women who have faith and who allow that faith to guide the way you think, the way you act, and the way you live. Men and women who will use their faith, their gifts, and their talents to help shape our world truly into the kingdom of God. You know, there's a story told about Jesus on the day of his ascension into heaven. You know, 40 days after Jesus rose from the dead, he rises up from the earth and goes body and soul into heaven. And the story is told that on his way up to heaven, he meets the archangel Gabriel. And Gabriel says to the Lord, so Lord, you've just come from the earth. And Jesus says, yep, I'm just on my way back up to heaven, to my heavenly Father's throne. Gabriel says, the earth looks like a very dark and bleak place, Lord. Jesus replies, yeah, there is much darkness on the earth. And Gabriel says, but Lord, in all that darkness are these little dots of light in the midst of the darkness. What are they? And Jesus said, oh, those little lights are my blessed mother and my apostles. I have filled them with my light and have given and have left them to enlighten others until the whole world is bathed in my light. The Archangel Gabriel says, Lord, that's a very big task. What if it doesn't work? Jesus says, it must work because there's no other plan. You all thought it was going to be funny, didn't you? There's no other plan. My dear graduates, over your years in our Catholic school system, you have been enriched with knowledge and faith. We have shared with you the light that has been entrusted to us. And now we are absolutely relying on you to take the light that you have been given and to share it with the whole world until the world glows in the light of Christ. God and we have no other plan. It's the only plan. We are entrusting you with the light of Christ. And we are trusting in you to make the world shine with the brightness of your service, your talents, your wisdom, your knowledge, and your faith. And so we send you forth from here this evening, and we do so with confidence and hope that you will become light in the darkness, hope in our struggles, and Christ's presence in the world that so desperately needs his love and mercy. We have shared with you all that we have to share, not just so that you can become rich and powerful, important or proud and boast, oh yes, I know everything about math, and I know everything about science. We've shared this with you so that you can become the light of Christ in the world today and leave the world a better place than you have found it. That's what we ask of every generation. 
to leave the world a little better than you found it. Sometimes we do better at it and sometimes not so good, but that's our hope, that you will have full and happy and fulfilling lives and doing so to make the world better by bringing the light of Christ into our world today. And so on behalf of Bishop Crosby and myself, we thank you for the effort that you have made to come to this moment. And we know you have made many sacrifices. The evenings you've given up to study for exams and the effort you've made for your sports teams and getting up early for band practice. Oh, do they still have band practice in high schools? They do, okay, perfect, very good. I was in the band, I played the flute, I was in the band. You've made many sacrifices and you've made great efforts to come to today. And we thank you for those efforts. And now we ask that you take what you have been given and make the world better for it. Let the light of Christ burn in you for all to see, so that you may set the world on fire with the love of God. May God bless you, and may our Blessed Lady, our Mother, continue to keep you safe under her maternal care. May God bless you all. Good evening. Please hold your applause until all graduates have received their certificate or diploma. Graduation honours are conferred upon the following young men and women who have met all ministry and board requirements for the Ontario Catholic School graduate. Daniel Abassi. Sophia Augustine. Jazim Ahmad. Dania Al Ani. Fahad Alani. George Alderwish. Cheesy Telum Ama. Cheesy Telum is receiving the Father Demon Memorial Bursary presented by Mrs. Barbara O'Claric and the Guelph Lions Club Creative Writing Award presented by Mr. Trevor Smith. Hayden Anderson. Hayden is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Sienna Anderson. Ethan Andrilli. Ethan is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Neil Atkins. Neil is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate.
Jesse Atta Canadu. Cadence Baker. Nathan Barris. Nathan is receiving the Specialist High Skill Major Red Seal Diploma. He is also the recipient of the Skilled Trade Bursary Program Award presented by Ms. Jessica Gluer. Rika Charisma Bellarmino. Josh Bure. Matthew Best. Erica Nicole Biko. Jonah Lucchetti. Jonah is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma and is receiving the Bishop McDonnell Alumni Association Spirit Award presented by Miss Julia Pitcher. Josephine Boylan. Josephine is the recipient of the Lino Pagozo Award presented by Mrs. Teresa Pagozo. Melody Bruce. Melody is receiving the Moore Maya Works Physiotherapy Award of Excellence in Health Sciences presented by Mrs. Brittany Green. Riley Burton. Zyree Collipin. Zyree is the recipient of the Knights of Columbus Service Award presented by Mrs. Amy Nash. Sienna Carrere. Bernadette Allison Carriazzo. Kripa Chahal. Molly Chopra. Molly is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate. She is also receiving the Home Life Realty Guelph Scholarship presented by Mrs. Emily Miller. Haley Clark. Zara Cook. Deacon Cream. <laughs> Larissa Christo. Aiden Crooks. Bradley Kua.
Ty Chuber. Alana Curley. Killian Curley. Amanda Davis. Joshua Davis. Lucas De Maria. Lucas is receiving the Bentley Mitchell Award presented by Melissa and Bentley Mitchell. Nicholas Delis. Nicholas is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. He is the recipient of the Guelph and District Home Builders Association Award presented by Ms. Melissa Yonker. Alexander Delandria. Alexander is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Gabriel Diaz. Lucas Delello. Maya Delello. Maya is receiving the R.N. Pandey Memorial Award for Science Excellence, presented by Dr. Rupish Pandey. Jensen Diogno. Ava Dixon. Ava is the recipient of the Bishop McDowell Faculty Award, presented by Ms. Ronnie Wilker. Nathan Dorling. Nathan is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Ailey Duffy. Ailey is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate and will be receiving the Document Imaging Partners Scholarship presented by Mr. Matthew Quirk. Holly Emini. Holly is receiving the Specialist High Skill, Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Ennis Anuri. Ennis is receiving the Class of 2024 Valedictorian Award presented by Mrs. Amber Sawyer. Andre Espinel. Andre is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate. Jaden Federo. Ethan Fernandez. Ethan is the recipient of the Positive Mindset Award presented by Mr. Leo Bry. Alex Fisher. Alexander is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Bradley Fisher. Adam Foucault. Adam is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. 
and is the recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Achievement Award presented by Mr. Leo Burai. Dominic Franchetto. Dominic is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma and is receiving the Skills Trade Bursary Program Award presented by Ms. Jessica Gluer. Ethan Fraser. Jacob Fraser. Spencer Gatza. Madison Gagne. Victoria Gamboa. Victoria is the recipient of the Robert and Mary Sutherland Award presented by Mr. Steve Kurtz and the Lisa Balfour Award presented by Lisa Balfour. Arisa Gaderi. Rajan Guman. Alec Jinyak. Alec is receiving this Schnur Scholarship for Mathematics, Science and Technology, presented by Mrs. Andrea Christopher. Tiago Godinho. Tiago is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Emma Graham. James Grift. James is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Simon Guerriero. Isabella Gutierrez. Ayla Haddad. Alyssa Heaton. William Henriquez. Kimani Higgins. Sophia Horvath. Evan Howes. Matthew Howes. Ella Humphrey. Ella is receiving the Celtic Kindness Matters Award presented by Mr. Matthew Quirk.
Vivian Nguyen. Vivian is an international baccalaureate diploma candidate. She is the winner of the Euclid Math Contest Certificate of Distinction presented by Ms. Melissa Vidala. She is also receiving the Phil Danucci Theatre Award presented by Mrs. Emily Miller and the St. Joseph Parish Pastoral Award presented by Mrs. Pat Hochenyame. Vivian is the recipient of the Governor General's Academic Medal and Bishop McDonnell Academic Award in recognition of the former Board of Governors presented by Melissa Vidala. Lucius Ilmanen. Jesse Benedict Imbat. Ordi Irumba. Kaya Jacobs. Kaya is the recipient of the Spirit Award presented by Miss Ronnie Wilker. Rachel James. <sighs> Stephen Jameson. Victoria Yompen Regan. Victoria is an international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Victoria is receiving the Building Bridges Muslim Society Award and the University of Toronto National Book Award presented by Amy Nash. Sophia Johnson Hallahan. Sophia is receiving the Knights of Columbus Service Award presented by Ms. Ronnie Wilker. Ethan Kazabowski. Charlotte Kelly. Edward Krisovsky. Edward is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma and is receiving the Lieutenant Governor Community Volunteer Award for students presented by Mr. Matteo Tessero. Mira Lamb. Mira is the recipient of the Retired Teachers District 31 Bursary presented by Mr. Richard Goodbrand. Matteo Latanzio. Matteo is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Abigail Leachman. Abigail is receiving the Bishop McDonnell Alumni Association Spirit Award presented by Mrs. Krista Jacobson. Daniela Lemus Minervini. Daniela is the recipient of the John A. Horrigan Award, presented by Mrs. Brittany Green. Adam Ling. Adam is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Hermes Marlene Louis. Marlene is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma and is receiving the Wellington Catholic Teachers Award presented by Mr. David Del Duca. Colton Maddox. Colton is the recipient of the Gary Tatum Rotary Achievement Award presented by Ms. Bonnie Evans. McKenna Malik. 
McKenna is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate and is being awarded the Tracy Curtis Award presented by Mr. Michael Malik. Ethan Malone. Ethan is the recipient of the Christian Life Award from St. Joseph's Parish, presented by Mrs. Pat Hojoyame. Lindsay McClellan. Taya Milkovic. Taya is being awarded the Angelo and Reno Longo Award, presented by Mrs. Rachel Del Duca. James Miller. Luke Milliken. Isabel Mishra. Isabel is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate. Tate Monks. Tate is the recipient of the Bishop McDonnell Faculty Award presented by Mrs. Katie Anstett. Julio Moran Larios. Julio is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Jacob Morgan. Jacob is the recipient of the Eric Gogan Scholarship Award presented by Mr. Trevor Smith. He is also receiving the Bishop McDonnell Academic Achievement Award presented by Mrs. Amy Nash. Joshua Morrow. Treshawn Mullings. Jack Murphy. Jack is receiving the Robert Howard, Haw Haw pardon me. Jack is receiving the Robert Haworth Conservation Scholarship, presented by Mr. Curtis Miranda. Yaromir Miskiv. Yarmir is the recipient of the Bruno Vidala Memorial Award, presented by Mrs. Rose Vidala and Mrs. Francie Schmidt. Falguni Nanakumar. Falguni is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate and is receiving the 2023 Sulich Leadership Scholarship awarded in STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics presented by Ms. Amy Nash. Ignatios Nicolaitis. Daniel O'Neill. Philip Oates. Philip is receiving the Notre Dame Loretto Class of 1958 Father David Cote Christian Leadership Award presented by Mrs. Dominica Grodd. Olivia Ullman. Francis Otanwa. Francis is receiving the McCarthy Scholarship Bursary presented by Mr. Trevor Smith. Daniel Patrick.
Charles Pereira. Charles is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Marco Piccioni. Marco is receiving the Celtic Football Booster Club Scholarship Award presented by Mrs. Julie Britton Fraser. Ricardo Pineda Pelez. <laughs> Alexander Polonik. Madeline Ponton. Madeline is the recipient of the Larry Kelly Notre Dame Loretto Class of 1958 Award of Merit presented by Mrs. Courtney McFarland. Kieran Preems. Kieran is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma and the Skilled Trade Bursary Program Award presented by Ms. Jessica Gluer. Marco Puskas. Alex Piriev. Alexander is, will be receiving the Teresa Miller Award presented by Mr. Patrick Miller. Justine Quila. Christopher Couchere. Ryan Rankin. Marco Rail. Marco is the recipient of the Hugh Douglas Award presented by Emmanuel Llewellyn. Mackenzie Ricker. Mackenzie is an international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Andrew Robertson. Brandon Robertson. Juan Rubio Chinea. Paula Saad. Paula is receiving the Pharmacy Prime Care Arboretum Award presented by Mr. Ian Singleton. Annabella Sarmazian. Lainey Saunders. Laney is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate. Benjamin Savoy. Evan Schattenberg. Adele Schmaltz. Adele is receiving the Mary Phelan Scholarship presented by Mr. Chris Bilodeau. Samuel Schoenaker. 
Samuel is receiving the Celtic Football Booster Club Scholarship Award presented by Mrs. Julie Britton Frazier. Juliana Slade. Juliana is an International Baccalaureate Diploma candidate. She is receiving the Loretto Sisters Award, the Diocese of Hamilton Award, and the Father Fogarty Catholic Student Award presented by Deacon Klein. Ava Smith. Samantha Stocko. Claire Stoltz. Claire is the recipient of the Guelph Trillium Rotary Fred Black Scholarship Award presented by Mrs. Christina Vogan. Ashley Taylor. Ashley is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate and is receiving the Anonymous Award of Merit presented by Ms. Lindsay Dreyer. She is also receiving the Bishop McDonnell Academic Excellence Award presented by Mrs. Tamara Costello. Marcello Tazuchel. Marcello is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Daniel Teasdale. Everett Thornton. Lucas Tonin. Adrian Joshua Topan. Ethan Udenberg. Evan Verdun. Sebastian Vieco. Caden Vilbar. Michelle Wang. Michelle is being awarded the Positive Mindset Award presented by Mrs. Amber Sawyer. Callie Weber. Callie is receiving the Guelph Police Association Annual Scholarship presented by Officer James Nightingale. Graham Williams. Graham is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Red Seal Diploma. Samuel Yi. Samuel is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate and is receiving the Bishop McDonnell Faculty Award presented by Mr. Leo Bry. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the class of 2024.
once again, good evening. Bishop Lobsinger, Father Ian Duffy, Ms. O'Donnell, Mr. Glazier, senior administration, generous presenters, staff, parents and caregivers, family and friends, and of course, our dear graduates. It is indeed a great honour to stand before you this evening on behalf of myself and Mr. Halford. This is a particularly special graduation for me as it's my last one as principal of Bishop McDonnell. So and it's an honour to close my time at Bishop McDonnell with this awesome group of graduates. I'd like to begin in gratitude to our school parish, the Basilica of Our Lady Immaculate. We are immensely grateful to Father Ian Duffy for his spiritual guidance, his presence and support in our school, and for welcoming us to this ceremony. Please know that you're always welcome at Bishop McDonnell. Continuing in gratitude, I turn to the wonderful staff at Bishop McDonnell. Year in and year out, you give so much of yourselves in the service of young people who come through our doors. Many don't realize how deeply invested you are, not only in the celebrations, joys, and accomplishments of our students, but also each misfortune and each heartbreak. I'd like to offer a special thank you to this year's retirees, Ms. Curtis and Mrs. Balfour. They have been of incredible service and support to a great many students in their care over the years, and we wish them the best of luck on the next stage of their journey. On this, the evening of our graduation, I'd like to especially thank our amazing grad advisors, organizers, and committee members. Many hands worked together and placed an incredible amount of effort and care into the graduation events, and of course, including this ceremony. Uh, they're noted in your program, of course, and led by Ms. Wilker and Mrs. Nash, so we thank all of you. To the parents and guardians of our students, I was in your spot last year, my daughter Chloe, graduated last June. She's our firstborn, so our first to reach this milestone and first to move on. And like you, I was proud, not just because she graduated high school and, and moved on in her journey, but because of the growth I saw along the way. High school graduation is a checkpoint where we as parents get to reflect so many changes in only four years as we've all watched our children become young adults. When my family survived my, our daughter's first year of post-secondary life. And I admit, every time there's struggle, I want to jump in and help. It's our nature as parents. But I can't, and I shouldn't, at least not most of the time. We all grow as a result of struggle. We problem solve, we adapt, we negotiate, we sacrifice, we find creative solutions, and we come out more prepared for the next challenge. As a staff, we want to thank you for letting us be part of your child's growth. It's an amazing privilege. I hope you know that we've walked with each of your children as they've grown in knowledge, skills, character, and faith along their journey. We're proud of each one of them tonight, so thank you for bringing them to us. My dear graduates, I still remember you coming into Bishop Mack as grade nines. It was a different sort of entry, on orientation day, a quick progression through the foyer and out to the field for a modified link day. Trying to, get you know, trying to get to know you through those masks was a little more challenging at first. And it's on, all gone by so quickly. The masks, of course, came off and we introduced you to activities that make high school memorable. We've been through a lot together. And now you move into what I think is the most interesting time of your lives. In this next part of your journey, you get to set the direction. It's wide open. It's hard not to envy all of you. You're at the start of a journey with so many possibilities ahead. And you're ready. The past few years prove that the world continues to change in unpredictable ways. Those who can adapt, those who can be resilient, those who can find the positives in difficult situations will find success in this world because the world will continue to change. Aside from the curriculum, think of all that you have learned over your four years. Perseverance, adaptability, patience, and problem solving. Those are the skills needed today, and those are the skills that are gonna bring you success, no matter what field you pursue. And I know some of you are worried about what direction to take from here. I assure you, as long as you're open to discovering new avenues and staying committed to your core values, you'll find your way. Over the next few years, you'll learn about careers that you didn't even know existed, and you'll find strengths in yourself that you didn't know that you have. 
After high school, I did not head in the direction of being a teacher, let alone a principal. It hadn't even crossed my mind uh, by that point in my life, and it still hadn't by the time I was 25. But each experience, the positive ones, and the ones that I would have considered negative at the time, taught me more and more about myself and ultimately led me to this point. And when I look at what's most positive and, and most, most important in my life, I wouldn't change a thing. So don't worry too much about the direction you start off from here. After all, it won't be the big decisions that define you. It'll be the small choices that you make along the way. Much more important than what you choose to do is how you choose to live your life. That's where true fulfillment can be found. How people will view you moving forward won't mostly be based on your achievements or the specific career you attain. It'll be based on the type of person you are. It'll be based on your integrity and your compassion. It'll be based on how you make people feel. The promise of Catholic education is that we educate the whole person, knowing that academic skills and knowledge may get you employed and a career may sustain you, but careers are not what we live for. We live to be in relationship with our families, with others, with the world around us. We find true nourishment when, our, when we live our lives as Jesus taught us, in kindness, service, gratitude, and love. My dear graduates, we wish you all the best of luck as you carry these virtues with you into the next stage of your journey. It's an honor with me to graduate from Bishop McDonnell along with you. Congratulations, and may God continue to bless each and every one of you. At this time, it is my pleasure to call upon the valedictorian of the class of 2024, Anna Where is she? Come on! Where is it? All right. Good evening, everyone. I would like to offer my sincerest welcome to all the dignitaries, the Bishop McDonnell staff, the parents, guardians, family and friends of the graduating class, and of course, to my fellow graduates, the class of 2024. Today we'll be receiving the ticket to the next chapter of our lives. This diploma is more than just a piece of paper. It represents our experiences, successes, lessons learned, memories made, and relationships built over the past four years. As we gather here today to celebrate our completion of high school, let's rewind to where it all began. Once upon a time, there was the grade eight class of 2020, a class filled with intelligent, talented, and ambitious 2006 kids, and a few 2007 because they're ahead of their time. These distinguished students, these leaders of tomorrow, had their last year of elementary school cut short. If you hadn't guessed it, we were that class. It's safe to say that our transition to high school was unique. Arriving at grade nine orientation, wearing a mask and social distancing from each other was not what we expected. Quadmaster style timetables and online school were not what we expected. No extracurriculars, no lunch break, and no events were definitely not what we expected. But we kept our heads up and we pushed through this challenge with positivity. Mr. Gullius would always remind us that there was better days ahead and that at some point the cafeteria server would open once again. That never happened, but we definitely did see better days. <laughs> Those better days began on the first day of grade 10 when restrictions got lifted. We finally got a lunch break, sports teams and clubs were back, and everybody saw this as a chance to get involved in the school community. High school was finally starting to feel like high school. Whether it was student council, art council, spirit council, athletic council, math club, chess club, Science Olympics, Tech Crew, VM News, Best Buddies, the band, the vocal group, a sports team, you name it. Everybody found a spot in the school. The cafeteria opened back up, and with it the calf games, and the tangerines and grapes that went flying across the room when Mr. Hunt wasn't looking. Who started that anyways? The path to the plaza was a popular spot at lunch, which allowed twice a deal pizza to see numbers that they've never seen before. Oh yeah, and where James Miller unleashed his inner biologist and caught a snake that one time. 
Grade 10 was also the return of school events such as Relay for Life, the year-end show, awards of distinction, and the athletic banquet. After the disaster of the grade 9 COVID year, this felt like the climax of our high school experience. But little did we know what was still to come. Halfway through the storyline came grade 11. Many took advantage of becoming Link Crew leaders, where we demonstrated our Celtic spirit in welcoming freshman students to Bishop Mac. More school events returned, such as buyouts, bake sales, semi-formal, and the homecoming football game. That day was one to remember. After the pep rally, Terry Fox walk, and barbecue, the whole school gathered to cheer on our football team at our home field. Who could forget the rush of adrenaline that everyone shared when our players ran out through the blue and white tunnel of Celtics? It was truly sensational. Fast forward to the year-end show, where many students from our class displayed their talents in performing their amazing acts to the whole school. Again, who could forget when the audience erupted with cheers every time Kojo walked on stage to perform? What a great memory to conclude our junior year. And just like that, we come to the epilogue of our high school story, senior year. This year has been the most eventful of our time at Bishop Mac. Where do I even start? How about on the first day, walking into school realizing that we were the glorious seniors that we always dreamt of being? That feeling lasted throughout the busy semester in which we balanced heavy coursework, balanced heavy coursework and extracurricular activities. Then came post-secondary planning. What a total breeze that was. We totally didn't spend countless hours being indecisive and driving our parents crazy. Imagine that. After getting this phase over with, we were hit with an extreme wave of a highly contagious disease, senioritis. For those of you who don't know, according to the official Merriam-Webster dictionary, senioritis is defined as an ebbing of motivation and effort by high school seniors as evidenced by tardiness, absences, and lower grades. Yes, I just cited my source. Aren't you proud, Mrs. Perigo? <laughs> Throughout the year, our student athletes demonstrated tremendous talent on the competitive stage. Our sports teams came to play this year, winning multiple championships and putting BM on the map. Our senior mixed doubles badminton team stole the show and won the city championship. Our senior boys basketball team brought home the city championship for the first time in eight years and placed second in regionals. Our varsity girls soccer and senior boys soccer teams both won the city and regional championships with the girls placing fourth in the province and the boys taking home the provincial bronze, but gold in Mr. Tesaro's heart. <laughs> Last but definitely not least, football. After a nearly undefeated season, our varsity football team won its first city championship in 36 years. Our school's trophy case has never looked better. Our class left a legacy as Celtic athletes that will live on for many years to come. The second semester was decorated with, with vibrant memories and senior events, such as prom, the grad trip to Wonderland, the camping trip, and grad wars. Many participated in senior traditions, such as senior splashing, Senior Skip Day, Senior Sunset, and Senior Prank, brought to you by the Senior Group Chat. I find it funny that Ethan, the one who tore his uniform pants in grade nine, went on to plan our senior prank of not wearing uniform during the last week of school. How ironic. From hunting each other down with water guns, to sharing hashtag butavious moments at prom, to signing each other's uniform shirts on the last day of school, these events brought our class together resulting in a remarkable end to high school. It didn't hit me until a post-secondary commitment day that it was all coming to an end. Seeing all the different destinations that people were going made me realize that we only had a few days left. Many of us built strong friendships that lasted the whole way. Throughout the years, many new faces joined us and new friendships were formed. We all witnessed each other grow as individuals and we also witnessed Jaden's hair growth from day one. Now look at how far we've come and how far his hair has grown. I remember on the first day of grade nine religion, Mrs. Miller said that these four years would pass by quicker than we could ever imagine. I honestly didn't know how to feel about that, but now seeing all of us in our graduation gowns gathered for what's probably the last time we'll ever be all together, I can say that she was right. It did go by fast. As we close out this chapter of our lives, it's impossible not to reflect on how swiftly time has flown by. It feels like just yesterday, we were nervously stepping into the halls of Bishop Mack for the first time. 
And now here we are, ready to take on the world. One thing that we've learned is that through all the ups and downs, time keeps moving. And each moment is an opportunity that won't come again. So how do we make the most out of time? Embrace each day with gratitude and cherish every moment. Pursue your passions with dedication. Seize every opportunity with enthusiasm. Pursue er, and live each day to the fullest. Reflect on your blessings and appreciate the people around you. With that, on behalf of the graduating class, I would like to say thank you to the board administrators. Thank you for being committed to providing us with the best possible education. To Mr. Gullius and Mr. Halford, thank you for everything that you've done for our school community. Gully, we know that you're leaving because you miss us too much at BM. What an honor to leave with the best. To our incredible teachers, thank you for your tireless dedication to our learning and inspiring us for success. To our coaches and supervisors, thank you for sacrificing your time and training us to excel in our sports and extracurriculars. To our beloved families and friends, thank you for your endless love, support, and encouragement. And of course, to my fellow graduates, the class of 2024, thank you for making this journey unforgettable. Together, we have shared countless memories, persevered through challenges, and created everlasting friendships. Your companionship and spirit have made these years very special, and I'm grateful to have shared this experience with all of you. Whatever you go on to do next, whether it's pursuing university or college, learning a trade, taking a gap year to work, running it back for 12 plus, or just taking some time off, make sure that you stay true to yourself and follow your dreams. In the words of recent NBA champion and finals MVP, Jalen Brown, faith, consistency, and hard work pay off. No matter what you choose to do, stay consistent, be determined, be faithful, and put in the work, and you will succeed. Wise, honorable, and courageous class of 2024, it's been real. We should all be proud of how far we've come. I wish you all the best, and I'm certain that we will go on to do great things in the world. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you very much, Ennis. I'd now like to call upon Claire Stoltz and Ashley Taylor for our appreciations and thank yous. Good evening. Now we would like to take one final moment to thank everyone who made this day possible and to thank everyone who has helped us get to where we are today. I'm Ashley Taylor and I'm Claire Stoltz and it is with immense pride that we stand before you today to acknowledge these people on behalf of the graduating class. Firstly, thank you to Bishop Wayne Robsinger for taking the time to be here today. We greatly appreciate your presence at this special event. It is also important that we recognize Father Ian Duffy. Your teachings throughout this school year have greatly guided us, not only in our high school journey, but our spiritual journey as well. Thank you to our school board representatives, Director Mr. Michael Glacier, Associate Director Corporate Services and Treasurer Tracy McLennan, our Superintendent of Student Achievement, Mary Lynn Dawson, and Ms. Cassandra O'Donnell, Trustee. To our musicians, Mr. Joseph Carreri and fellow Class of 2024 graduate Mackenzie Ricker, thank you for taking the time to come here today to make this event extra special. It is also important that we recognize the dedication that Agnes Nagy has put into this event and give a special thank you to all of the award donors and presenters that took the time out of their schedules to come here today. Another thank you goes to Ms. Wilker and Ms. Nash for organizing this event. 
We greatly appreciate the hard work that you put into making this day special for us. Thank you to those who took part in organizing our post-graduation reception, and thank you to the student ushers for keeping us organized tonight. Now, thank you to each and every staff member at Bishop McDonnell. Throughout our years in high school, we have seen how every staff member takes their time to create a welcoming environment. You have really made an impact on our high school experience, and we cannot thank you enough for what you do. Thank you to the teachers that took us in as if we were their own children. Thank you for putting up with our snappy attitudes and for the dedication, even when times got tough. Another special thank you goes to the EAs, custodians, coaches, and anyone else who takes part in making our school the amazing place it is. Graduates, I want you to think of a staff member that has helped you in any way during your high school journey. I'm sure that everyone can think of at least one. This is because the fantastic staff at Bishop McDonnell has left an impact everywhere they go. There is one staff member that we of course cannot forget. That is our incredible principal, who's moving away to St. James next year, Mr. Gullius. Thank you, Mr. Gullius, for your genuine care for each student. It is shown throughout your kind actions every day that you value each and every one of us. We appreciate all that you do for us, and we could not ask for a better principal. We would also like to thank our vice principal, Mr. Halford, for all his hard work throughout the year. It is also necessary to take the time to thank every parent and guardian who has been by our side throughout our whole journey. While we may not always see eye to eye, your love, support, and constant desire to keep our best interests at heart has shaped us into the people we are today. Your guidance has allowed us to overcome obstacles and accomplish this milestone. Your faith in us has been a constant source of inspiration and we will be eternally thankful for the numerous ways in which you have influenced our lives. There is one last group that we would like to personally thank, and that is my, our fellow graduates. We have all taught each other valuable lessons that have let us mature into the adults we have become. In the end, it doesn't matter who you were and what friends with. We are all connected in some kind of way, through sports, clubs, councils, being in the same class, or even passing each other in the hall. We have all impacted each other's high school experience. We would like to thank everyone who you have ever interacted with in high school, whether it was in a large or a small way, for the impact that they have had on our lives. Whether we realize it or not, these four years and the very people sitting around us right now have played a large role in shaping who we are today. I know that we can look back on this experience, despite all the ups and downs, with happiness. So thank you. Following the procession and gathering outside, all are welcome in the basement of the Basilica for cake and refreshments. At this time, I would like, we would like to call upon Bishop Lobsinger to give his blessing. I invite the graduates to please stand. The Lord be with you. Blessed are you, Lord our God, for you begin all things and bring them to conclusion. At the dawn of creation, you created all things and place this earth under our care. You sent your Son Jesus to be the way, the truth, and the life. And through the gift of the Holy Spirit, you guide our way to the glory of your kingdom. We praise you for our graduates. You have guided them to this proud moment. As we celebrate their graduation, we ask that you continue your gracious counsel in each of their lives. May they be rich in good works, generous and ready to share all the blessings you have given to them. May the treasure of the good foundation which you have laid for them help them to take hold of life and go forth as children of light through Christ our Lord. We invite you all please to stand. 
May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go in peace.